What's up, TD Gang? It's your girl, TD Gang, back with another video. And as y'all can see by the title, we're finna get into some Christmas Q&A. So before I get to it, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And without further ado, y'all, let's get straight to it. So we have 25 questions that I'm finna knock out. I am drinking peppermint tea right now in my little Christmas mug to get in the spirit. So let's get straight to it. So the first question we have is what's the best or worst Christmas present you've ever received? Hmm, let's do the best Christmas present. Best Christmas re present I've ever received would probably be my Apple Watch that I got a year or two ago for Christmas. That was pretty dope, I'm not even gonna lie. I was hella surprised because I wasn't expecting any of that. So that was really dope. And to piggyback, I want to say the AirPods too, because I got them both at the same time. So I would definitely have to say probably the AirPods more than the Apple Watch, but I'm going to group them together because they both work hand in hand for me. Second question is describe a Christmas present you wanted badly as a kid, but never received. I can't remember. <laughs> I pretty much gotten almost everything I wanted as a kid for Christmas. Um... I really don't know y'all i'm not even, like i'm not joking i really don't know what i wanted for christmas that i didn't get because i pretty much got everything i guess i'll say i did get this but a baby alive but i got a white one instead of a black one because they didn't make black ones at the time that they were available for christmas so i guess we'll say that even though i technically got it i just didn't get a black version so when people asked who the baby daddy was i was saying joe jonas all tea no shade um <laughs> number three name something about christmas that most people like but you hate or at least dislike um eggnog <laughs> um i i don't know if i can say i hate eggnog i just don't so I'm gonna just say I dislike it. I mean, your taste buds do change as you get older. So I mean, I'd have to try it again. But when I was younger, oh baby, I could not stand eggnog. I would have to try it again now that I'm older to see if I like it. But I guarantee I probably still dislike it. I don't know what the hype is about it. I'm gonna be 100 percent with y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Number four, if you could only have one type of Christmas candy this year. What would you choose? Hmm. I mean, I usually only really eat candy canes for Christmas. So I guess I'm going to say candy canes. That's pretty much the only candy I really eat. I know a lot of people eat like black licorice and stuff like that. I'm going to stick with my candy canes. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the candy canes, y'all. I'm not going to do nothing too extra. Number five. What holiday movie or special do you watch over and over again? Oh my god. Okay, so there's several. But... I will literally probably watch... <laughs> Damn, there's two movies in my head. I'm trying to figure out which one I would say the most of. I'm gonna say this Christmas. I can watch this Christmas over and over and over again. Like, it just came out. And this bad boy came out, what, 2005, six, seven? Around that era? I don't, I don't remember exactly when, but it was around there. Yeah, I could watch that movie over and over again. Mm-hmm, I could. Number six, what's the weirdest or ugliest Christmas decoration you've ever owned? I don't know. Um, let's see. Let me really think about this, y'all. Let me really think about this. Cause I don't think I have anything ugly. And I'm trying to think of something weird. I really don't know, y'all. <laughs> I really don't know. 
like I don't think I own anything that's weird that's a Christmas decoration I don't know we're just gonna skip that one because I really don't know number seven what was Christmas like when you were growing up oh bitch I couldn't wait for Christmas <laughs> Christmas was okay so growing up Christmas Christmas was pretty much like church and opening gifts and being around family and yeah it was mostly just family oriented um my parents separated at a very early age for me so I would always be with my dad's side of the family for Christmas so I would always be around them for Christmas but I would still you know like exchange gifts maybe before or after Christmas with my mom's side of the family. But it was still lit. <laughs> Baby, no matter who I was with, around what holiday, it was always lit. Number eight. Who is the toughest person you have to buy for this Christmas? Always the toughest person to buy for would be my mom. Because I don't want to call her picky, but... If you could read in between the lines of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not her fault. She likes what she likes. And what she don't like, she don't like. It's, it is what it is. But growing up, it always was a challenge for me to get her stuff for Christmas. Because I would never know exactly what she would like. I would get little tads of things and be like, okay, let me see if she likes this. And then nine times out of ten, she would end up liking the stuff that I got her. But it's still kind of, you know, like. I have to try to cater to stuff that I know that she likes and then try to build from there. Or, you know, do the sneaky approach and try to ask her things and jot down stuff and try to remember later on. But I would have to say her. Number nine, what one thing are you most grateful for this holiday season? I am 100% grateful for the knowledge I've gained over the past couple of months. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into what that means, but basically I have a whole new outlook and mindset when it comes to certain things. And I'm glad that I put the work in to get to that point because a lot of people don't evolve as people like they should. And I think every six to nine months I do. And I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Like, baby, if you haven't talked to me in a couple months, I'm not the same person. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm always evolving. Baby, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 10, share one vivid Christmas memory, good or bad. I don't want to necessarily say this is bad, but one Christmas memory I do remember off the top of my head is when um, we went to... Owensboro, Georgia for Christmas one year and I remember we unwrapped all the presents over there by their Christmas tree and everything because it was around like they're like friends of the family and we were there for Christmas and then when we came back home there were no presents no nothing like because mind you the house we were living in had a chimney so I'm like in my mindset at that age, I'm still believing in, you know, Santa. I'm like, oh, Santa's going to have some presents for me when I get home. I get home, nothing. No Christmas tree, no presents, no nothing. So I'm like, that's when I was like, Santa ain't real. <laughs> I'm like, these MFers been playing me <laughs> for how long? I don't even remember how old I was, y'all. Probably like seven, eight, somewhere around there. Yeah, that's when I realized Santa was not real because I came home to no presents, <laughs> no nutsing, no, no nutsing. That's when I knew Santa wasn't real. Number 11, what's the most memorable thing that's happened to you since last Christmas? Hmm. What happened to me since last Christmas? what is the most memorable thing i probably have to say that i got two paid increases 
<laughs> at my job two of them things i ain't gonna disclose how much i make now but just now it's double what i was making at my last job That's probably the most memorable thing. Um, number 12. What's your favorite or least favorite Christmas song? Okay. I have several of them things, actually. So, I'm going to probably say my most favorite song is Feliz Navidad. I don't know why, but since I was maybe in, like, fifth grade, that has been my song. Mind y'all, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I don't. But it's something about that song just resonates with me and has stuck with me since and i know there's plenty of christmas songs y'all but at least not be not do something to me so that's gonna be my favorite one if you hear me blasting christmas music that's probably the song i'm playing the most i'm not even gonna lie to you 13 if you could travel anywhere for christmas where would you go now it really don't snow out here y'all and if I'm going to get, like, the real true Christmas feel, I'd probably go to New York. Because why would you not want to go to New York for Christmas time? Like, I know a lot of the northern states, but baby, I'm going to be in New York. If I had to choose, my ass is going to New York for Christmas. I'm sorry. 14, what's your least favorite item on your Christmas to-do list? Christmas shopping. <laughs> If you know me for real, you know my love language is gifting people. I love to gift things to others. But when it comes to Christmas shopping, I feel like I get so overwhelmed and get so stressed out by it. Because I know in my head what I want to get people. But it just don't work out all the time. And I think that's probably... Yeah. 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 Yeah, shopping would probably be the least favorite thing for me to do. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. 15, would you rather have three feet of snow for Christmas or no snow at all? Like I said, for me, from the South, I would have to say I would rather three feet of snow. Because we don't get snow out here. But I know the ones that do get snow would probably rather no snow <laughs> for certain circumstances but me i'd rather have some snow for christmas now it ain't gotta stay now i just need it for christmas day and then you could go about your business do what you gotta do but i just need it for christmas like it being hot for christmas out here is not it like it don't feel it don't give the christmas joy it don't give what's supposed to give i'm sorry it, it, it just don't it don't do it 16 if someone offered you a gift card to any store you wanted which one would you choose? Ooh. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm probably going to say Amazon. <laughs> Amazon or Walmart. Either one. And the reason why I say that is because I am 9 out of 10 percent of the time buying something from either one of those off amazon or walmart so if you're gonna buy me something gift card wise i would want it to either be amazon or walmart <laughs> i'll be completely honest i mean it's cool if you give me something else but i'd rather it be one of those two 17 what's your favorite holiday and what's your least favorite okay so y'all already know what i'm gonna say what my first favorite holiday is and it's gonna be mardi gras Because, baby, ain't nothing like Mardi Gras, okay? Let's be honest. If you're from the South, you know what I'm talking about. If you celebrate Mardi Gras, you know what I'm talking about. Not everybody celebrates Mardi Gras. If you celebrate Mardi Gras, you know what I'm talking about. But if I wasn't from here and I didn't get a chance to celebrate Mardi Gras, Christmas would probably be the next one. My least favorite? That's kind of hard. I don't really have a least favorite holiday, but let me think on this real quick. Mm. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> that's really hard. Um, okay, I'm going to just go and say Valentine's Day. 
I love Valentine's Day, but having to shop for it sometimes is like, mm. I'm gonna have to say Valentine's Day is probably my least favorite. Just because like getting a guy stuff half the time for Valentine's Day is like, <sighs> yeah, we're gonna go with that answer. 18, what's your favorite character from a Christmas themed movie? book or tv special my favorite character oh god um shit what's her name oh i cannot think of her name now shit mm. it's not kelly it's not mel fuck what was regina King's character in this Christmas. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. But her. I love how she was trying to be a devoted wife until she reached her breaking point. And when she broke that point, baby, she went all in. She didn't give a fuck. And I love that. I do. I love it. So she would be my favorite character, probably. Not even gonna lie. Number 19, what's the best gift you've ever given someone? Oh, um, I always give out good gifts. But <laughs> I'd probably say I've given a wallet to my boyfriend with his name on it. I think that and... I made like a little keychain with our picture on it and on the back I wrote something sentimental on it and I think this was like three years ago and he still loves it so I think that's the best gift I've ever given to someone number 20 if you were Santa Claus what type of cookies would you want to be left out for you on Christmas Eve oh baby so i would probably say gingerbread cookies i fuck with gingerbread cookies remind me to go to the store and get some gingerbread cookies um and maybe even like so not the sugar cookies but like the soft cookies y'all know what i'm talking about those right there yeah those between those those and gingerbread i don't know what it is about them two cookies but i would mm-hmm mm-hmm because, see, me, if I was Santa Claus and y'all left me some cookies I didn't want, I'd still take them. But, like, even some of my elves, you know, even the reindeer. Well, not the reindeer, the night of Christmas Eve. Maybe, like, Christmas Day as they look, you know, treat their little cookie or whatever. But, mm, -mm Them two right there. <laughs> 21, name three words that best describe Christmas for you. Ooh, three words. is about to get deep okay joyous blessing and I'll say thankful I didn't want to say thankful, but let's be real. Let's be real. Be fucking for real. <laughs> Number 22, describe a funny Christmas card you have given or received. I don't really give Christmas cards like that. And I really don't get Christmas cards like that. Um, So, I think we're going to speed past this one. Because I, I wouldn't even know the answer to it. 23 would you rather build a snowman go sledding have a snowball fight or stay inside drinking hot cocoa now four options okay so i don't know about sledding <laughs> i don't know about sledding y'all i've only really been in snow once or twice my entire 25 years of living but it wasn't like snow snow like it was like maybe snow for a couple hours and then it melted away so i know nothing about sledding um 
have a snowball fight i would love to do a snowball fight but i feel like i don't know i don't know because i'm stuck between building a snowman because i've never built a snowman so i probably want to do a snowman first stay inside drink hot cocoa uh, <laughs> i do that already now i would probably have to say build a snowman it'd probably be build a snowman then do the snowball fight so i'm gonna go ahead and say build a snowman number 24 the true meaning of christmas is blank okay so the true meaning of christmas is being around family being around loved ones being pretty much loved i think that's the real meaning of christmas not buying presents not this this and that just being in a comfortable space with the ones you love the most around you i think that's the true meaning of christmas and number 25 how do you celebrate christmas i celebrate it with my loved ones um like i said i do usually stay by my dad's family for christmas but now that i'm old enough i bounce around <laughs> i bounce around so i try to meet everyone for christmas unless people are out of town but other than that i usually try to be around as much family as possible but i digress so to the gang i hope you guys enjoyed those 25 questions i hope i answered them good enough for y'all if not we don't have to try this again next year <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time <laughs>